select the game mode. I'll do original mode, which is a remake of the first game, pretty much. I'll start out with that. I'll go normal, and there goes Swedish. I don't know if you get the reference or not, but yeah, it's kind of a joke from the movies. Normal. Uh, game settings are all the flaws. Is this okay? Sure. Enable realistic mode. Bang enemies are very resilient to melee gun attacks. I'll press no. I don't want to die a lot. Play the intro. Antarctica, winter, 1983. A research team discovered a semi-evacuated UFO in the Antarctic region. The U.S. Army quickly intercepts the project and all work becomes highly classified. The site becomes known as Project 31. Upon finding unknown liquid-like samples aboard the craft, the U.S. Army contracts the genetic pharmaceutical company Gen Inc. to investigate the unknown liquid samples. Gen, In Gen Inc., led by co-founder Dr. Sean Faraday, Begins fair viral research into the liquid entity and soon discovers it contains amazing regenerative properties. Dr. Faraday soon believes he has found a possible cure for disease such as cancer and pushes for more extensive and illegal testing with Project 31. Little is known about the origin of the crash or the details of who or what was on board the craft. The true effect of Project 31 is yet to unfold. Gen Biolink Research Base, February 26, 1993. 1983. Twitly. Well, Faraday, what was it you wanted to see me about? I have been running some tests on your condition, and I'm afraid to say it's terminal. But what about your research? You said Project 31 could be a cure for cancer. Now, Colonel, it is true that the research has shown amazing healing properties. Considering a human test subject this early into the project would, well, but you have my goddamn consent. I'm very sorry, Colonel. These samples need to be shipped off to the mainland for further study. I am afraid this cure has come too late for you. My condolences, Whitley. U.S. Antarctic Army Post, February 27th, 1983. Whitley, do you read? Over. Roger that, General. What's the situation? What is the status of Project 31? Is the viral research showing any progress? Negative journal, general. They have yet to oscillate the side effects on the host. Listen to Whitley, I'm going to need you to keep Dr. Faraday and his team under wraps. Pressure from the government has forced me to dispatch a rescue team. Understood, general. You know what? My own men are more than capable of a cleanup operation surrounding the Project 31 vicinity. I know, but it is vital that a hand-picked government squad rescues any missing U.S. persons. They will be delivering a full report on our status here, Colonel. Keep Jenning buried. Damn bureaucrats from Washington. It's not all bad news. An old friend of yours is leading the rescue team. Captain Blake will be arriving in a few days. Blake. One other thing, Colonel. I hope you are feeling well enough to oversee this operation. I regret that your service will soon be ending with me. Don't worry, General. I am fine. I have a feeling that you will be seeing a lot more of me than you expect. Glad to hear it. General Kerfer's out. Cough, cough. Can't go out like this. U.S. Antarctic Airstrip, March 3rd, 1983. Good to see you, John. Dave Pierce, you son of a bitch. How are you? It's Pierce. Never better, Captain. What's the situation, Pierce? Colonel Whitley's here. Must be something important if he's here. I've been told it's a rescue op er, operation, but they would have just used their own men for that. Relax, Pierce. Whitley is a good leader. What they got you here for, Captain? U.S. Army activity has been pretty hush-hush around here lately. Rumors they found something. What, out here? I don't know, Pierce. I'm here on behalf of Congress. Someone's got to make sure that we're playing fair out here, right? Wow, you sure moved up since you joined the Secret Service. It's good to have you back, though, Blake. Thanks, Pierce. Even if it's just for a while, an Arctic vacation is just what I needed. Haha, ha. come on, John, let's go inside. I'm glad that you took all the time out of your regular duties to be here today. As you may know, it is spring now, and the Arctic weather is starting to clear up slightly. We have lost contact with several outposts all located near each other. We have received a scrambled distress signal from U.S. Outpost 31, but have been unable to make clear sense of it. 
Your duties will be to search the U.S. Outpost 31 and nearby Norwegian Outpost and bring back any personnel that you may find. Any initial questions? I have a question, Colonel. Why do you need us? Couldn't your own men handle this? Orden? Well, Captain Orden, it appears that the U.S. government wants Captain Blake over there to oversee operations and submit a report to the president. Let's just say the U.S. Army has been known to hide sensitive information from the public. I'm just here to make sure everyone plays fair, that's all. Well, I'm glad we cleared that up. Now I need to go over the plan with you all. Blake, you'll be taking your team to search U.S. Outpost 31. There are supposed to be 12 men in their group. Lieutenant Pierce, you'll take a squad to search the nearby Norwegian Outpost and Weather Station. It is known that a small number of U.S. personnel joined the Norwegian teams at their last minute before the winter. That just leaves you, Captain Nor Orton. Your team will begin an initial investigation into the U.S. Army Outpost here on behalf of Captain Blake. Orton and his band have a good track record. That's no problem for me. Good. We start operations tomorrow morning. U.S. Outpost 31, March 4th, 1983. Whitley is Blake. Whitley, this is Blake. Do you read over? Roger, Captain. This is Whitley. What have you found? Well, it's not good. Look, the massive explosives damage. Explosives? Yeah, it looks like the whole place is pretty much gone. I'm going to take a look around, see what, I can, what we can find. Roger that, Captain. Whitley out. Captain, it looks like the storm's going to pick up. I can get the chopper back in an hour, but I can't keep it out here. All right, honey. Well, come back. Come pick us up in an hour. Already, Captain. North. Blake. All right. Here's what's going to our current objective. Search for survivors and find evidence of what happened. Hence, you can view your mission objectives at any time by pressing the Q button. Uh, who's on my team? Uh, looks like we're going to start off where the game the ps2 sequel starts off pretty much north welding the barrels they make a comeback that's nice let's just wander through here yeah it looks like some uh destroyed shacks or buildings oh look the ufo what the hell is that looks like some sort of alien craft oh shit aliens all right settle down no fucking way, man. Where the hell do you think all the people went? Twelve people don't just disappear. Discipline or comfort? I'll comfort. Relax, medic. There's no such thing as aliens. Yeah, besides, we see any of them green mothers, we'll shoot first. Yeah, yeah. Weldon learned bravery and intuition one. Search for survivors. Find evidence what happened. Alright, let's settle down and move on. Uh, a bunch of destroyed items and stuff. I'm going to assume this is the same shack that uh, good old Dr. Blair was hold, held up in when he was trying to build a ship or something to escape. I think. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure this is the same shack he was in. It's been destroyed. Along with everything else. Let's go up here. It looks like there's some flares. Yeah, I got some flares. There's a little entrance up there. Some more flares on the corner. And look at this place. Nice little ice cave. And there's a crate there. I can probably use a crowbar if I have one. Found some arrows. Hmm, that's random. Can I do anything with these barrels? No, apparently not. I'll find a bunch of skeletons down here. A little crates. Can I open these? Nah, I guess the ones covered with snow I can't open. Looks like dynamite. No, it's TNT. Same stuff. I I need an access code. Crap. I'll probably find the access code somewhere. Ah, I see two bodies down there. Pierce! 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 Alright. Sounds like Pierce is in trouble. Yeah, there's a bunch of replays, man. God damn it. Looks like they were killed by cold exposure. Search the bodies if you see if you can find anything. Captain, they match the descriptions of Childs and Creedy. Captain, what now? Let's keep looking around. Search for survivors complete. I still need to find evidence. 
Yeah, pretty much Childs and McCready. I'm pretty sure Childs, well, in the prequel, I mean, in the game sequel, they found his body and he was pretty much frozen to death. But they didn't. They did not find uh, McCready's body because he escaped anyways. Well, let's go over here. This is a crowbar. You can probably equip this boonie hat. Probably should. Uh, let's see. Does this give me armor? No, oh, it gives me luck, apparently. Sure. Why not? Right, there's nothing down here. I think I searched this area already. Let me get out of here. I might find the access code somewhere. All right, let me go get those flares up there. Is that a safe state? Just randomly out here in the snow? Sure. Looks like an old tape recorder. Burroughs, can you get it working? All right, Captain, one second. Done. I know you gentlemen have been through a lot. But when you find the time, I'd rather not spend the rest of this winter tied to this fucking couch! The hell is this? That, that doesn't seem right. Almost as if it's out of place. Hmm. That's when they had Gary tied to the couch. I thought that was pretty funny. Uh, let's see. Is that a Molotov? No, nah, that's a flare. A rare. Whatever that is. I'm not sure what that is exactly. Another recording here. Looks like an old tape recorder. Alright, Captain. One second. What the hell is this? And it takes you over. Sounds like cabin fever. Who knows? Christ. Ah, uh, that looks like I found all the evidence I need. Whitley, this is Blake. Do you read? Over. Ah, crap. Whitley, this is Blake. Urgent. Over. Sorry, Captain. Must be the storm over. Colonel, Colonel. What did you find, Captain? Two bodies matching Childs and McCready. No survivors. Anything else? Well, we found what looks like a UFO. Colonel? Colonel? Roger, the chopper's coming back your way now. I expect a full report at base, Captain. Negative, Colonel. I received a scramble of transmission from Pierce. Sounds like he's in trouble. The captain is too risky. The storm's coming up and really bad over here the next few hours. That's a risk I'm willing to take, Colonel. I can't leave my men out there. Okay, Captain. Pierce's team should be at the Norwegian outpost. Contact me when you get there. Willie out. Willie, is this Blake? Do you read? Over. Roger, Captain. What's your situation? Storm is getting worse. Doesn't look good. Looks like this little rescue stunt of yours just might pay off. I don't understand. I received part of a transmission from Pierce. Looks like he found something important. Might be research. I need you to bring it back to me ASAP. Roger that, Colonel. Blake out. Captain, this is bullshit. The storm's getting worse and we could get trapped out here and the Colonel didn't even flinch about the UFO thing. Willie might be letting on more than he knows. Still, we have to find Pierce. Captain, there's no way I can keep the chopper out here any longer. Alright, listen up. Fly to the Norwegian base. We will rendezvous with you there. We're going by foot in this? There's no other choice. Blake, we gotta get moving. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Rescue Alpha Team, find evidence of the what happened. In dark areas, we will need a light to use. Right. So, the most obvious change from the PS2 sequel is that the actual original team comes with us instead of separating. So, see how this plays out. 
I see nothing but white. It's probably somewhere around here. Probably answer to these or not. Oh, that those are windows. Okay. Or are these flares? Yep, flares. The creepy music playing in the background. Oh, it's locked. Crap. Probably might be something hidden here. Oh, there's a random shack out here. It's pretty damn dark in here. I only got a flare. Uh, let's see. Ah, oh, crap. I need to... I broke my crowbar. That sucks. Uh, let's see. What else is in here? There's a crate there. I got a spike mall. Not sure what that is exactly. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's nothing else in here. How long will my flare last, though? Is that Spike Mall a weapon, or what exactly is it? I don't think Burroughs has a weapon, doesn't he? He has a combat knife. Yep, it's something. Sure, I'll give it to him. Oh, it's like a hammer. I gotta keep my medic alive, man. Medics are valuable. There's nothing out here. Let's go over here on this side, see if there's something. Some bodies here. My flare's still active. That's good. Yeah, I need a crowbar. There's a bunch of dead bodies here. Got a tomahawk. I guess that's a thrown item. It's empty. It's windows. I got some food. Not sure how much use that will be coming handy to me. Most likely not. Bunch of random bodies here. Oh, I see some blood steps or bloody footprints. I mean, that's not good. Got some scrap metal. It's probably used for like crafting stuff. Some random sleeping bags there. Have no use for that. Uh, what's in here? Got a bandages. That's good. And some morphine. And oh, a torch. Sweet. Yeah, I'm gonna use my torch. I wanna save my flares for later. Oh, I lost a flare, that sucks. Ooh, a fire axe, look at that. Yeah, looks like some of my teammates are hearing stuff. What do you have? He has a Mac, Mac, Mac ML me, ML E. Yeah, I guess I'll equip the fire axe, it's a melee weapon. It looks like I can only equip one weapon at a time, though. Probably save it for later. Yeah, a bunch of blood piles here. Take a crap there. Apparently I'm not. Let's go down here. Oh, there's nothing down here? Oh, look, there's somebody here. I think that's, uh... I forgot his name already. Yeah, Carter, there you go. Captain, I'm hurt pretty bad. Heal. Medic, patch him up. Thanks, Captain. What the hell, what the hell happened here? We were attacked by these... By what? These things. Look like monsters, they... What? Listen, I have to find Pierce. I don't know where anybody else is. Alright, let's keep going. I got one member. Find evidence of what happened. Pretty sure uh, Carter was a soldier. He's just a regular soldier, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, wait, he's an engineer. Yeah, it looks like he's suffering from stuff. Can he heal him or what? Doesn't look like it. 
I guess he needs advanced medical attention from a doctor, I guess. All right, let's go over here. Yeah, let's save here real quick. Some scrap metal. Wait, does he have a weapon on him? I didn't even check. Oh, he doesn't have no weapons. Yes, you can have the fire axe. Why not? Thank you, engineer. What is this, a handgun? No, oh, it's a flare gun. And a combat knife. And a BW Titan. Not sure what that is. Probably a weapon. Turn on that lamp. Got a med kit. What the hell is this? Oh. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of medical supplies. That's good. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure if you get infected, all these things are pretty useless, so it doesn't even matter to... Some random documents there that I cannot read. Uh, it looks like a lockers. Let's see what the, what's inside them. I got a U.S. trooper and a Mauser. Holy crap. Handgun slide. Who uses handguns? Guessing this guy, right? Yep. Increases the damage. I'll use it on my main character, of course. Mm, let's see. Yeah, it doesn't look like I can equip them with anything. I'll just leave it at that. Yeah, there's another guy there. Who are you? Oh, it's Cruz. Shit, Blake, you scared the shit out of me. Settle down, Cruz. Where's Pierce? He was talking about some medical shit. Said he wanted to talk to the colonel. Colonel hasn't contacted you guys? Man, I ain't sh heard shit from anybody. Let me try my radio. Blake to Colonel Whit Whitley, do you read? Over. Blake to Colonel Whitley, urgent, do you read? Over. Pierce ran off chasing some Norwegian guy. Then we got attacked and the squad split up. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, Alpha Team. I forgot how many people can be in your party. Or the limit before you have to switch them out. What's this? This looks important. Oh, wait, I got a training manual. That's nice. I don't think I checked this. Yeah, that was empty. Oh, this ice block. This is. I didn't even notice it. Yeah, this is the ice block where the thing was originally buried in before they melted. And he started killing everybody, and the whole story goes from there. Shit went bad. Looks like what the hell is this? Code. Oh, more access codes I don't have. Let's see. Yeah, I got no power to this. Let me just search this area real quick. Might find something interesting. Yeah, there's nothing. What the hell is this? Yeah, it's just random light coming out of that one window. What the hell? No. Oh. Let me just go down here. Let me just go up the stairs. I'm pretty sure these are stairs. I got nothing. Got some ammo. Got a toolkit. That's nice. Looks like there's a document there. We just save again. Just a random dead body here. Let me get the engineer to fix this up real quick. 
Oh wait, this is already fixed. Never mind. Hmm. Let me go back outside. I think I found all the stuff I needed for now. Yeah, I think I found everything I needed for now in this area. What the hell? Well, it looks like creatures are here. Shit. Let me just... Let me see if I can equip it anything right now. Let me check my teammates equipment and see if I'm prepared or not. I haven't battled any things yet, so I don't know what to expect really. Uh, it looks like Carter might be a problem, but I think I might have something that might heal that. I forgot what that is exactly. Uh, field. Morphine. It heals that. Removes whatever that is. The red school. I guess I use that on Carter. And what else? Let me check. Carter has an axe. He's an engineer. I guess that's suitable for him. Cruz. He has no weapons on him for some reason. I thought he had a gun on him. But he's a soldier, so I should probably give him, like, a pistol or something. I'll give him a Mauser, I guess. And who else? Let's see. I think that's good. I think North has, like, a machine gun. Pretty sure this guy has a pistol. Yeah, M Mac MLE. Well, let's see how this goes. Luckily, it's only one guy. Uh, let me just single shot luckily these churns aren't uh, time so I could just take my time taking uh, trying to figure out what strategy I should use I'll just shoot it up use all the ammo I got might as well of course he attacks my medic Wow Team has terrible aim. What kind of soldiers are these? They're an army. They should at least know how to aim, but I guess not. Maybe they're scared. Fear. Let me just repeat the process. Lucky the scuttler missed, and he's dead. Got some XP from that. 